Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And if you're new, what's up? What's good with you? My name is Shani. Thank you so much for being here. So in today's video, I'm about to show you guys how I got this look right here. You guys were gassing me on Instagram. I put this on my Instagram story and y'all were like, oh my god, like sis, we need a video. So here's the video. I really hope you guys like it. I'm not trying to make this intro too long so yeah this is the look we're going for today and i really hope you guys like it so let's just go ahead and get into all right y'all so i'm starting off with my brows already done and i fill them in with the precisely my brow pencil from benefit and then to prime my eyelids i use the fenty beauty concealer in 445 i'm still you know trying to figure out this concealer right now is not creasing i used a little more powder than i normally did so maybe that's the trick i'm not sure but yeah it's not creasing now so let's just go ahead and get into this eye makeup because y'all really wanted it the palette i'm going to be using today is the mac flamboyant palette which is new i'm in love yes mac thank you so so much like it's nice and small is travel friendly the eyeshadows are the same size as the regular eyeshadows yeah they're the same size okay so i'm using the morphe m532 brush go to blending brush and i'm taking this color right here oops sorry Vanya. i want to say it's rule but girl i don't know these little um papers on the back of it be confusing me but yeah i'm taking this color right here okay and this is going to be my transition color for today. Y'all, it's super freaking late. Like, it's like 11 o'clock. It's probably a little later than that, but it's 11 o'clock at night. And I'm refilming this video because I filmed it already. But I didn't like how the video came out. And I went on a rant of random stuff in the video. It was just, the video was just a hot mess. So I was like, nah, can't do that gotta refilm it so yeah and then the footage was like so freaking warm i was like yo what's really good i can't i really can't moving on to this color right beside it and this is going to make it more orange okay oh and i'm using a morphe m44 one brush let me try the exposure down a little bit because i feel like y'all can't really see what's good with my eyes right now is that better okay, moving on so the next color i'm going to use is this color right here why didn't i hold it like this from the beginning like why was i holding it all the way okay anyways i'm taking that color and putting it in the crease as well this kind of reminds me of strawberries i don't know why but that's the vibe i'm getting and we're taking that color all the way in as well all right now i'm taking i'm into it from MAC and putting this in my crease to deepen up the outer corner. I feel like it's not gonna stick because I have so much eyeshadow <gasps> on right now. Honestly, all those colors were not necessary. Now I'm taking some more of the Fenty Concealer to reprime my eyelids so that this color will stick. And that's in the shade 445. I'm not doing a cut crease. It's more of a blended eye look, if anything. All right, now that my eyelids are reprimed, I'm taking this color right here, and that's going to go over my whole eyelid. So my thoughts on this palette, I am so happy that MAC did this, honestly, because it was needed. I'm happy that they brought a colorful palette and a neutral palette because, you know, not everybody wants to do these type of colors. So 
Yeah, and I also like the fact that the palettes aren't bulky. So if you're like a traveling makeup artist, these will be really good to stick in your kit because they're not going to take up a whole lot of room. And then they put a mirror in the palette like... Mag, y'all really, y'all really did that. Oh, this color is so pretty. <laughs> okay, moving on. Now for this liner, this takes concentration, okay? Um, so I'm taking some gel liner. And to do this liner, I'm using this Sigma EO6 brush. So I usually like to start thinner towards the inner corner and get thicker and then I'll start my wing, bring it in and then connect everything. It's definitely easier said than done. I feel like I've said this before, but let's just go ahead and get into it, okay? All right, so I'm gonna have to do the rest of this wing off camera because this is taking me entirely too long, okay? So, I'll be back, but y'all got the gist of it. Hopefully, okay? Alright, so the liner is done. Took me forever, but it's on there. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply these lashes. So the lashes that I'm wearing are made up of the MAC lashes in the Style 76, which is a new style that they came out with, and I absolutely love it. And the rest of the lashes that I have on are the Ardell 614 lashes and I have two of those on so all together I have three lashes on right now <laughs> I know it sounds like a lot but it's not heavy at all all of the lashes are thin so it just makes you know a pretty good lash because they're all thin and they're really durable like y'all I've been wearing these same pair of lashes for a minute now like I feel like when did I go to basic training I went to basic February 19th so I've had these lashes on for a good little minute I really like them they're so pretty I curled them in my last video I had these same lashes on that was the Jordan inspired look I didn't curl them but now I just curled them and they look even better okay so I'm moisturizing my face with this pure 4-in-1 cloud cream and I'm just gonna put a little bit on because I already moisturized my face lucky but just for the sake of the video we're just gonna do it again all right so for foundation I'm wearing the NYX can't stop won't stop foundation this is not the same foundation I wore in the video but hopefully this doesn't mess up the finish I'm going for and I feel like it might because this foundation is a little matte so I'm going to mix it with the Too Faced foundation in the color Coco my shade in the NYX foundation is Coco as well Bro, why am I always dropping my setting powder? That's exactly why it's gone. <laughs> I'm always dropping it. For concealer, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Concealer in the color 410. Because I want my under eyes to be, you know, bright, okay? So I did my little reverse contouring and I mixed the 410 Fenty Beauty Concealer with the 445. I don't know if y'all peeped that, but that's what I did. And that just gave this under eye area time to sit in a place just a bit. So I don't blend all the coverage away. I asked y'all on Instagram, have y'all tried out the banana powder from Fenty Beauty? And some of y'all was like, it flashes back. Some of y'all was like, it flashes back, but it's so pretty on the skin. Um, so that's not going to work for me. Because I always take my pictures 
with a flash because I just feel like it makes my makeup pop. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's not gonna work for me. Some of y'all were like, yes, you love it. So I don't know what to believe, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that shade is a little light by itself on me, just a little bit. I'm just gonna put a little bit of the 45 up under here to tone it down just a little bit. All right, and I'm just gonna set my under eyes. Oh y'all, I don't think I told y'all this, but Fenty sent me these concealers. Y'all remember in my Q&A where I was like, I'm not gonna do a review until they send me the concealers, and they ended up sending me the concealers, which is so, so freaking cool. Because I posted on Instagram when I got it, and one of y'all were like, oh my gosh, you really like spoke this into existence, and I low-key did well now. I'm gonna give it to my co-workers because my co-workers, when they found out Fenty was coming out with a concealer, they were like, they called it. They were like, they gonna send you them concealers. And I'm just like, um, I don't know. But then I wasn't like for sure, for sure until um, my management team was like, do you want those concealers? And I was like, um, yeah, of course. Hopefully Fenty is not one of those brands that you know get a little salty when you don't give them a perfect review like no negative points in the video at all hopefully they're not that type of brand because low-key i'm starting to realize that some of these brands be real sensitive y'all remember the bh video that i did and i said it was kind of ashy towards the end of the video but i was like i still like the eyeshadow palette but some of the eyeshadows in it are a little patchy and they need a little more pigment yeah, ever since that video, your girl hasn't gotten any PR from BH Cosmetics. Like, anything at all. Like, at all, at all. And they used to send me PR all the time. Like, back to back to back. Like, almost every week I would get a new PR package from BH Cosmetics. And now, <clears throat> and now it's like real silent. But if your product needed some more pigment, it just needed some more pigment. You know what I'm saying? Like there's room to grow like i don't i didn't bash the company at all like and i said that in the video like i'm not trying to bash anybody and another thing i was speaking in general so i was just like oh wow oh wow bad so i'm using the the micro smooth powder to set the rest of my face i'm using the espresso matchstick from fenty y'all know Y'all know I love this. Like, I've been using this faithfully for two years straight. Okay, so let me go back to the eye. All right, so I'm going to take this color right here. Or no, I'm going to take this color. Yeah. And take this on my bottom lash line. Oh, the reason why I started talking about that, I didn't even close out the conversation, but yeah, I was basically going to say hopefully Fenty is not one of those brands. I don't think Fenty is one of those brands, but some of these other brands are just mad sensitive for what? Like, I don't understand. I'm not mad that I'm not getting EPR. Like, I'm not over here throwing a hissy fit at all. It's just like, wow. Y'all are saying a lot without saying a lot at all. I don't know. Maybe they didn't take me off their PR list for that situation. I don't know. I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. Now I'm taking this color right here. Smoke out my bottom lash. Alright, now I'm going to line my bottom waterline with this LA Girl liner that Amanda put me on to. For blush, I'm taking Desert Rose from MAC. I almost forget this is what made it pop like what's good with me so I'm taking this tangerine color it's so so pretty okay it's so pretty so I'm taking that right in the inner corner oh let's see what this white color is gonna do oh that makes it pop more yes Okay, so I just took this color right here, mixed with that tangerine color, and it just makes it like, wow, oh my gosh. 
much. The mascara that I use, because a lot of you guys always ask me like what mascara I use for my bottom lashes. And sometimes it's the um, Lancome mascara, which is kind of dried out now. Oh my gosh, why am I dropping everything? This is the Monsieur Big Lancome mascara. So sometimes I'm using that, but in this video I use the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. So I already put blush on, all that good stuff. Now it's time to highlight the face. And I'm using the Hyper Real Glow Palette in Shimmery Peach. I'm taking this color right here on my Beauty Blender. And I'm just pressing it on my face like that. And I'm just taking it all around this outer portion of the eye. And when it hits the sunlight, grow. It looks amazing. Now I'm just going to set my face. I'm running out. <laughs> it just ran out got another one what <laughs> this is the fresh glow water i don't know if i said that but yeah and then i'm gonna take this instapop brush from real technique and just pat it in moving on to the lips something simple of course this is the skin chemist rose quartz youth defense lip plumper and this is really moisturizing like I could literally use this as a chapstick and then I'm taking Supernatural from Revlon on top of that okay so this looks kind of weird but yeah anyways Alright you guys, so this is the finished look. I really hope you guys liked it. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Comment down below and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And make sure you come back for more. Like, I upload every week. More towards the end of the week. So, like Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. Sometimes Wednesday, but not always Wednesday. But just make sure you come back every week. That's it for this video. Make sure you guys are subscribed and y'all already know the deal. I'm going to put the next video on the screen because it's the weekend. And girl, you're not, you're not doing nothing. Or you're probably about to do something. So you might need some makeup inspiration. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, watch the next video and I will see you guys later. <laughs> Bye.